Okay, so we have received some extremely good news on um, Rachel Kelso. Um, she's no longer, according to our sources, she is no longer at Circle of Hope and she has been at her adopted parents' house for the past week or so. Um, which is basically, that was one of our main concerns. We, we, <laughs> we knew how long she was there. We knew what abuse she witnessed and what abuse she went through while she was there. And so we were worried that that would continue for her for the rest of her life. Um, so we are very, very happy that she is out of that situation, but she is still one of our main concerns. We still want to make sure that she is in a happy, healthy environment and that she's being taken care of, care of the way that she is meant to be taken care of. Um, we want to make sure that she is living the best life she can live and she's being supported the way she needs to be supported. Um, so that is some extremely good news that we have recently just found or heard from within the situation. Um, I don't really have any more updates right now. Not, not any that I can speak on publicly yet. We do have other updates. I just can't publicly speak on them yet. Um, but I do want to say that, um, Circle of Hope is now, um, let me pull it up, in the process of redoing their website. And so um, they moved some things around and I can't see dates anymore, but there's a new, a new review I have never read on, on their actual website, not on Google and not on Yelp, which I think it's, honestly, I think it's very, very new it says because uh, now they have like little drop down things where you can do parent parental testimonies former students which they've it, when i looked through my phone it looked like they deleted a lot of them to be honest um but anyways let me get to the point to the actual one that i want to read uh oh now there's two when I was there, there was one. I could be mistaken, but there was one. So let me pull that one up. Sorry, my computer is slow. My grandma got me a new computer. I'm honestly so thankful for everything she's ever done for me. Um, this is just one of the things. Okay, so here it is. It says, reviews. Hi, everyone. I would like to tell you about our experience with Circle of Hope. Yes, it was hard, but rewarding also. What is it supposed to be? Even though I feel each family reaches out to Boyd and Stephanie for different reasons, the bottom line is we need help with our daughters. Ours was, <laughs> ours was manipulative, manipulative, mean, and hurt people who got in her way and wanted to control every aspect of everyone's life. She wouldn't listen and threatened anyone who got in her way. She was a total disruption to our family. It's pretty sad that you can think of your child that way instead of just realizing that your child is going through a hard time and needs help probably love and support but you know she's a disruption to your family a disruption to your family it's pretty sad um yet she could be the sweetest kindest child known to man as long as she got her way sounds familiar huh no, not really. Honestly, it's, she sounds like a normal teenager and you sound like a bitter person who needs to be a better parent. Um, well, we made a short scheduled visit to Circle of Hope and never found anything but God love, God and love coming from within. I'm sorry, but your guys' <laughs> version of God and love is really, really twisted if you, if you agree with what actually goes on behind the closed doors. Um, the weirdest thing I have never understood is people who condemn Boyd and Stephanie and the lies on the internet. Why did most of us send our child here? Then when that same child lies on the internet and comes home, you still believe the lies perpetrated by that same child, that child that doesn't like to be told what to do. I'm sorry, but didn't you send her to a place to get that work done? So when she leaves that place, you should be able to, um, believe what she says. So either circle of hope isn't helpful and you're, you're, you're admitting it here or you're just a horrible person and you never want to believe your child. You never want to believe anyone when it comes to this type of stuff. I'm sorry, but you literally 
literally just admitted that Circle of Hope does not do <laughs> what they say they're gonna do. Because when they those girls leave, you should be able to trust them. You should be able to believe them. You should be able to. But unfortunately, no, you're not going to because you are so blind and I just, honestly, I don't know. I just, I feel like you're dumb when it comes to this type of stuff. Like, what do we have to gain? It's been 10 years for me. It's been at least five years for most of these girls. What do we have to gain? We're not getting money from this. We're not getting anything from this except trying to help girls that are going through the same thing we went through because we were there at one point in time. You were never there. The time you were there, a show was put on for you for you to believe that it was a happy, healthy, living environment. No, it's not. And for you to come on and tell us, that, you, or not tell us, but tell other people that you can't believe us because we were once liars, well, so that's what Circle of Hope was for. So are you telling me, I want to know this, are you telling me that Circle of Hope is not doing what they say they're supposed to be doing? Okay, so back to this. Hmm. Um, they will believe anything they say for only their benefit. Cause trouble in your home and school. Of course they didn't like it. It has rules and it has account accountability. Boyd and Stephanie needs love and support for doing what we, for some reason, were not able to accomplish. Well, at least you can admit that. And to be honest, Boyd and Stephanie didn't accomplish that if you can't believe your child when they leave. <sighs> were they perfect? Probably not. Was there anything that I was ever concerned about? Never. You should have been extremely concerned. You should have been extremely concerned. Just by le reading letters that my parents, my parents have written to other parents, you should be concerned. That's a red flag. Not being able to talk to your child whenever you please, that's another red flag. What it seems like is you don't care about your child. That's what it seems like. And then when your child gets out and tells you the truth, obviously you're not gonna believe them. The only person to ever walk this world, and he was called Jesus. Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> Were they perfect? Probably not. Was there anything I was ever concerned about? Never. Only one person ever perfect to walk this world, and he was called Jesus. Yet, as any of us know, every day is a major challenge. And without Boyd and Stephanie and Circle of Hope, our girls each have a fighting chance at life. That doesn't make sense. Yet, as any of us know every day is a major challenge and without Boyd and Stephanie and Circle of Hope, our girls each have a fighting chance at life. Yeah, I agree without, without them, you, your, your children would have a fighting chance. I think you did a typo. Um, <laughs> would, I would I hesitate to do it all over again? Never. Would my child be happy? Probably not. Oh, this is why I believe my mom is writing stuff like this because that's exactly what my mom said when I went to her and I told her that they raised us in abuse. She told me she would do it all over again. She had no regrets. Would it be in her best interest? You bet. I thank and pray for their continued success. Initials M and L because they took out all the other stuff. I'm sorry, but if you're sending your child away to a place to get them help for their lying and their cheating and their manipulating, shouldn't you be able to believe them when they leave? If not, I think you made the wrong decision. I truly think you made the wrong decision.